cancer. It's a fight no parent ever expects for their child. But one mid-Michigan boy has battled through it all, and he's only seven. In the first of a special three-part series, I'll introduce you to the Fochman family and their inspirational and courageous son, Luke. Good, 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 and good. That's how little Luke Fochman from Okemos feels these days. He'll first tell you it's because he bested his younger brother Connor in a Star Wars Lego challenge. But then, like his favorite Jedi character, he reveals he was up against a far more dangerous and deadly opponent, cancer. I will have to go through a lot of processes, hooking Ivy up to my tubies. And whenever I wanted to go, someone had to pull my IV with me. At age three, Luke was diagnosed with a form of childhood cancer called rhabdo. It attacks the connective muscle tissue of the body and requires intense treatment. One in five children diagnosed don't survive. We were able to explain things in a way that he could understand them at three and said, you know, this is what we need to do. This is where we need to go. Luke and his family's journey started at Mott's Children's Hospital in Ann Arbor, where he underwent daily treatments, oftentimes not getting to go home. They like scan your body to see if the cancer's going away, if it's shrinking. And it was scary to look at the number of different types of chemotherapy you would have and how long it was. 54 weeks will never leave my mind when they first told us that, that it was going to be more than a year's worth of treatment. As an adult, it would have been terrifying. And knowing that this was going to happen to my three-year-old son was just, it was devastating. Just the absolute terror that you feel, um, especially as a mom. Um, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to protect him. I'm supposed to keep him safe. And I'm supposed to know everything that's going on with him and to be thrown into the world of childhood cancer um, so quickly and so violently, um, it was really jarring. But nothing seemed to jar Luke. Even when his dad joked, they both looked like jar heads after the chemo. Really funny and cool. That's because Luke had a cool friend with him all through the ups and downs of hospital time and then later recovery time at home. Mike, he just comforted me when mom wasn't there. Mm -hmm. He's like, um, my second parent. And for Luke, he, his furry friend, and the whole Fochman family are all now making the most of their second chance. We had no choice but to go into fighting mode. And right now, if, they, if we took an MRI, what would, it, what would it show? No cancer. You have a survivor in your family that life has moved on and life is different, but we are all here together. Together and ready to keep up the fight even if it means a Star Wars Lego rematch for this young Jedi with the perfect name for the role. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> a story not too long ago and certainly not in a galaxy far, far away. In fact, Luke's story continues next Tuesday with a look into his special role with the St. Baldrick's Foundation. You don't want to miss it.